Okay, so this is going to be the next chapter. What I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to try and express myself more so that when I'm I'm walking around and using a bit more body language, I can see if I if I look kind of you know one dimensional or or whatever. So again, this is uh, Unlimited Power by Tony Robbins, page forty eight, and um, this is actually quite a short paragraph, so I maybe may do two, but okay, so <laughs> ah, there we go. One of the best motivators I know is Dick Tomey, head football coach at the University of Hawaii. He truly understands how people's internal representations affect their performance. Once in a game against the University of Wyoming, his team was being pushed all over the field. At half time, the score was 22 to 0. And his team didn't look as though it belonged on the same field with Wyoming. You can imagine what kind of state Tommy's players were in when they trooped into the locker room at half time. He took one look at their bowed heads and sunken expressions and realized that unless he changed their state, they didn't have a prayer in the second half. From the physiology they were in, they, were, they would be caught in a loop of feeling like failures. And out of that state, they would not have the resources to succeed. So Dick brought in out a poster board of mimeographed articles that he had been collecting over the years. Each of the articles described teams that had been in similar or larger margin and had rallied against these seemingly impossible odds to win the games. By having his players read the articles, he managed to instill a whole new belief, a belief that they really could come back. And that belief, internal representation, created a whole new neurophysiological state. What happened? Tommy's team came back in the second half and played the game of its life, holding Wyoming scoreless in the entire second half and winning 27-22. They did it because he was able to change their internal representations, their beliefs about what was possible.